Hey guys, it's Vesper. I'm back, and we got another Challenge 30, and I found a really good one this time. This was with Naoto, and uh, basically she has to inflict more than 10,000 damage in a single combo. But the cool part is, is that there's actually many ways to do this one, and the Arxis one was kind of like an elaborate combo with a bunch of different uh, things, not really too many loops, but uh, I found a really cool combo to do for this that a bunch of people have been using, and it involves a loop, and it's actually something that's um, used in really high-end play, it's, it's practical, so it's pretty sweet to do. The combo itself is not too tough, it is pretty long though, it's longer than usual for these Challenge 30 combos. But what do you expect when you're doing 10k damage overkill? So, let me go ahead and show you guys the combo. Persona. Now I know what you guys are thinking, that was pretty messed up. So let me show you how you guys get this done. So first you begin the combo by walking forward and then uh, do a crouching C. Now two things, the crouching C, you have to hold the button down, so it has to be fully charged so it does three hits. The second thing is you cannot be too close when you do it, otherwise you will miss a hit because uh, the persona will whiff the hit if he's too close. So you wanna be about sweep distance. After you do three hits, you want to do a standing A, into a crouching A, into a sweep, which is um, crouching A and B at the same time, canceling the sweep into a EX core circle forward AB, and then it'll do two hits, and then as soon as now to lands, uh, you want to do your super, which is core circle forward twice into D, as soon as you land. Pretty straightforward so far. Now this is what happens. The persona comes out and the opponent is stunned in the air momentarily and um, you recover immediately but the next move you want to do is you want to lay down a trap. But the thing is, is even though we recover immediately, we're, the game will not let us put down a trap until about the supers at say 80% uh, done. So what you can do here is that I just hold up right after I do the super and you'll jump and then what this does is as soon as you land that's the exact timing you're able to put down a trap. So I recommend doing that just so you don't have to learn the timing. So I put down a trap right away and that's a core circle back D. And then uh, the opponent will start falling. Now like I said, you're recovered, you can do normal attacks no problem. So right when the opponent, uh, right when the dummy is um, right in front of you, you want to start by doing a standing B into a standing C. And then you cancel the standing C into a core circle forward A. Now, uh, when you do a core circle forward A, you'll notice, or any core circle forward move, uh, Naoto will, will, will pull out her gun. And what you need to do is you need to press D to cancel the ending of that animation so you can immediately recover. So as soon as Naoto starts like about to pull out her gun, you have to press D. Then the opponent will fly up in the air from the trap, and you're recovered, and you just wait for the opponent to land at the right height. This is, this is the good height here and you go standing C, and then here begins the loop. So this loop, you have to do 10 reps of it, and it's core circle forward B, two hits, and then you land, and then once again, you press D to cancel the gun when the gun is sticking out, and you wanna get into this habit. So every time you do core circle forward B, the opponent's gonna bounce off the floor, and then you land, press D, then core circle forward B, and then again, you land, and you press D. And like I said, you can press. You don't have to wait for her to fully like pull out the gun. You can cancel it as the animation is about to begin. So you want to do 10 reps of this, and um, basically you just want to do it as fast as you can. Uh, there's no real crazy timing with it or anything like that. You don't have to wait for the opponent to get lower or something like that. It's just you gotta get into the rhythm. I'm double tapping just so I can uh, keep the rhythm up. You guys can do what uh, what's best for you. Now it might be kind of annoying to remember 10 reps and just count down your head so all you have to do is just look at the combo counter and know that at 35 is when it ends. So once you see 33 you know okay this is the last rep. And then once 35 hits you land and you do core circle forward back or core circle back twice sorry into A. 
So of course we'll go back twice into A. She begins her super and then you want to immediately press C or D to just do the kick. And then... Oh man, the suspense. Boom! And then that's it. So there you guys go. Uh, that combo was a lot of fun to do. And of course I'll put the notation for the combo below in the video description. As well as challenges 1 to 29 if you want to see now it was 1 to 29. There will also be a link in the video and in the video description. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and I'll see you guys next time. Persona. <laughs>